Just a warning before you watch this one, this video may distress some viewers, it's got some fairly graphic footage. I just heard a car hit something on the road here and uh, oh no, oh no, oh the poor thing, I don't think there's any, I don't think there's anything I can do for it, oh dear oh dear, oh dear oh dear. Oh, there's a car coming uh, on the sign there, it does say wildlife crossing. Um, obviously it was trying to cross, but the car has unfortunately clobbered it. <sighs> what am I going to do? <sighs> come on, do you want to come? Nah, I think it's... God, it's an amazing critter. I'll just get off the road anyway. Oh, the poor thing. Oh, I suppose nature will end up deciding the fate of this one there'll be a bird of prey or something that'll come along and it'll be dinner for that well I'm just on my afternoon walk and it's a horrible thing to come across uh, where we are here there's actually bush on either side it's um and unfortunately there's nowhere for the wildlife to cross apart from the road there so they're really risking their lives doing that sure there's wildlife crossing there but um what motorist is going to really see a guy like this I have seen wallabies down here um Wallabies, wallabies are like smaller kangaroos, sort of usually darkish in colour. But even they can just pop out in front of you uh, quite unexpectedly. Uh, it's sort of sad, this dragon here, uh, there's a creek just here on this side of me. He probably would have been residing over there. He's probably going to see one of his mates and a bit of creek on the other side. Uh, but maybe it's a bit of a, maybe a thought would be to have some sort of little wildlife crossing uh, built into this area here. Or a couple of them. I'm sure it wouldn't be that hard to do. Uh, but it's so sad, uh, I think where the car's hit it, it's disrupted its skin here. Um, I mean, the poor guy, I mean, it's, I don't know what to, oh, I think he might be, yeah, I think he's passed. I mean, it's just so sad, he's just such a beautiful creature, uh, and um, I just wanted to drag him off the road, I would have hate to see him in a big mess, but this will become food for another critter, I'm sure. And sadly, that's how it works in nature, but it's just unfortunate that it was a road accident that killed that lovely dragon. That's the speed that the cars come down here and really you'd be hard pressed to miss one of these guys that was running out on the road. So as fancy as that sign is, it really does nothing to stop critters from being hurt on this road here. What we need here is a couple of tunnels dug in to save our wildlife. You know it is funny they have put little refuges for people to cross over here, but there's nothing for the animals. So maybe the most positive thing I can do is make a YouTube video, bring this up as a bit of a thought. Hopefully people in my area will pass it around to the appropriate people as something to discuss as a way to save the wildlife. Well it's the next day and I'm walking up the hill here where that poor water dragon or lizard or monitor or whatever it was was hit by the car yesterday. And what's interesting is this hill here, it's actually quite a long hill, uh, it's where the YouTubers Keen Skaters would use their boards. Um, you know, it's great big long boards, I think they're called. And my daughter used to come and love to watch these guys go down this, this hill here. It goes right down, it actually curves around and goes down a lot further. And um, sometimes I give those guys a lift uh, to the top of the hill again because I was also impressed by their skateboarding skills. But there's a sign here that I want to show you. Our poor lizard friend passed away right up the end of my finger there, just on that curve up there. But this sign is a curious one. And it's talking about, well, things that look like kangaroos in the next 400 metres. So sure, I have actually seen wallabies in this area. I've seen lots of rabbits. There's a lot of rabbits up the top, but none down the bottom because the snakes eat the rabbits, I believe. But I'm sort of wondering if anything has come and cleaned up our lizard friend because I know there's birds of prey around here. Might be a couple of wild dogs, feral cats, definitely. Uh, we don't have Tasmanian tigers here because I'm not in Tasmania, or devils. Um, but I um, did take the lizard off the road because I'm pretty sure that in the end nature does all the cleaning up and something will be rewarded by that roadkill. And it's just over there somewhere, I think. Let me find him, or her. Look, I've got to be a bit careful here crossing the road. It is a busy road, it's a downhill section, of course there's that wildlife sign again, wildlife cross crossing. 
and our lizard friend was somewhere around here. Okay. Oh, okay. It's still there. And it doesn't look much different uh, to yesterday. Oh, mind you, there's a couple of flies on it. It's a magnificent beast. It's actually quite large. I can see some ants running around on it and a couple of flies. But I am semi surprised that it's still there, sort of intact. I thought something would have come out of the wilderness and cleaned it up. You know, I'm pretty sure our indigenous friends would have seen this as a fine bit of bush tucker. It's, well, of course, it's gone all stiff now. It was um, very soft and, well, of course, it had just been killed yesterday. Yeah. I mean, it's such a beautiful creature. This is the sad aspect to this. I, like I said, I wish I knew what it was. Someone will think, I think it's the ones that run on their back legs. They've got these very powerful back legs. I think it's, well, I think it's a water dragon, but I might be totally wrong. But I mean, it's just so sad to see such a beautiful creature out laid to rest by a car. Well, you know, I did show the video footage of that poor lizard or whatever it is, uh, which had just been hit by a car to my wife and a few other people. And they were astonished by, well, first off, the beauty of that creature and sort of the sadness for the fact that maybe by putting little crossings underneath the road by through pipes and stuff that this critter may have had some way of going across the road but then again we're just dealing with just a dead-end road with not much through traffic and in the end it's a numbers game how much would the council invest in putting a little bit of wildlife crossing feature into the road I probably don't see it as a major thing to invest in but then again it's something for the audience to consider I'm sure there'll be lots of people out there who can talk about these crossings that were put on major freeways I know they've been done in Australia where they can have areas for koalas to get across and all sorts of other land critters to basically make safe traverse I was a bit curious to see if something had picked up that lizard I'm sure you were as well as always thanks for watching and bye for now and I'm almost home got to just do a bit more hill climbing at least I'm half fit now better than being half dead